Fairfax rival, News Limited, also signalling job cuts are on the way. Well, we welcome the fact that, uh, you know, that uh, News Limited uh, have uh, agreed that they will be transparent and that they will consult. But for now, the focus is on Fairfax. The unions have given the company until Wednesday to agree to talks, otherwise the parties will return to Fair Work Australia. Yasmin Payton, 10 News. The Senate has been assured the carbon tax is not responsible for culinary disasters on 10's reality show MasterChef. The Greens have ridiculed opposition attacks on the tax, asking whether it's responsible for the Melbourne earthquake and a panna cotta failure on MasterChef. Every significant stage of the panna cotta production chain from milk to sugar will be impacted by the carbon tax and will the government ensure the carbon tax does not cause such culinary tragedies in the future. Finance Minister Penny Wong says her panna are always a disaster, but she can't blame this on the carbon tax. Hundreds of angry cyclists have gathered outside State Parliament demanding a better deal from the Premier. The riders claim they've been left out in the cold after $16 million for cycling infrastructure was slashed from the state budget. Ted, Ted, don't be slack. Bring the bike budget back. Perhaps he didn't get a bike for Christmas. I don't know. Maybe one year he really wanted a bike and he didn't get it, so, you know, he's taking it out on cyclists. They pushed home their message by forming a symbolic bike path on the steps of Parliament. Melbourne's face is changing dramatically according to our latest census data. And the figures show the city's west as one of the biggest growth areas in the nation. Meet the Sappies. They represent the changing face of Melbourne. The family of four lives in the city of Wyndham, one of the biggest growth areas in the country. When we bought the house, it was very uh, affordable. Uh, nowadays, it's getting a bit expensive. It's uh, 30 kilometers to the city, uh, a lot of schools around, uh, playgrounds around. The results of last year's snapshot into the nation show that Victoria's population is booming. In Melbourne, over the last five years, we've jumped a couple of hundred thousand to be just shy of a milestone. We are now one footy team short of four million. Our average mortgage has jumped nearly $500 to be $1,700 a month. There are just fewer men than women, and our average age in this state remains 37. When it comes to religion, the biggest group is still the Catholics at nearly 27%. The second largest are those declaring they have no religion at 24%. Then there are the Jedis. 65,000 Jedis, so they're out there, they're, they're recruiting, they're training. Our cultural mix is changing.